Today's video is a review of the Ultra Thin Votoro R5 Foldable Treadmill, which retails for $849 on their site. I also have a $50 off discount code, bringing your total to $800 if you decide to purchase this treadmill. This treadmill is unique because you can adjust the handlebar to suit the height of various users. You can easily fold it within three seconds. And it also has a built-in Bluetooth speaker for you to cast your workouts. It's just like you get her biomechanics in order, right? This song is gonna calm you down. Before we get any further, today's video will be broken down into the following topic areas. This treadmill is quite compact. It occupies less than 1.72 square feet of space. When not in use, it can easily be stored under a couch or bed or upright. It has a seven layer tread belt with dimensions of 18 inches in width and 50 inches in length. It has dual float shock absorption with 14 shock absorption points, making your run feel smooth and well cushioned. So this is what the treadmill looks like once it's set up. As you can see, it's quite sturdy. If I were to shake the handlebars, it does not budge. The handlebars have this really smooth matte finish, which I love. Really easy and great for wiping down. There's this nice silicone backing on the tablet or phone holder. So this is what it looks like at a speed of 4.0. If you ever need to adjust the belt left or right, there is an included hex wrench, which you'll use to adjust on either side of the treadmill. If the belt is veering too much to the left, you want to adjust it 90 degrees clockwise on the left-hand side. Likewise, if the belt is veering to the right, you want to adjust it 90 degrees clockwise on the right-hand side. So I'm currently in the middle of a 30-minute pop run with Matt Wilpers on the Peloton app. Oh, it has like a... I really love how you can connect your phone via Bluetooth to this treadmill as there are speakers on either side. You can also control the volume of the music, the song, and there's also a play and pause button on the console right here. So I just finished my first 30 minute workout with the Peloton app. And always have fun, you guys. Have a great day, all right? Thank you. I wanna mention that when you press the stop button, it does come to a really smooth and gradual stop. I'll show you right here. As you can see, there's no jerking motion when it gets down to zero. I love this water bottle holder because it is made of this durable and stretchy silicone material that also like bends and gives, so it can adjust to whatever size cup you have. So once again, all of my stats for the run were tracked on my Apple Watch. I had an average pace of 13 minutes per mile, and the app also tracks the different heart rate zones. So the Botoro R5 folding treadmill just arrived in the mail and we're gonna set it up. So this is what the package looks like when it arrives in the mail. It has a net weight of 52 kilograms and a gross weight of 68 kilograms. With some treadmills, they can be a bit heavy to lift out of the box. Luckily, this treadmill is easy to work with. The corners easily fold down, allowing you to just pull the treadmill out of the box. So this is what the treadmill looks like with all the packaging and without all the packaging. So here we have all the treadmill accessories as well as the user guide. To unfold the columns, you just switch the two-way lock on either side depicted right here and you'll literally just raise it up and re-lock it back into place. I'm gonna show you how fast and easy it is to set up this treadmill from its folded position. So for the first step, you want to unlock both sides. This is what the lock looks like. Right now, of course, it's in the locked position. To unlock it, you just switch this right here until it's facing the unlocked direction. From there, you're just gonna gently lift up the handlebars. Mm -hmm. 
We're going to re-lock it in place. Repeat on the opposite side. Lift up the tablet holder. You can adjust the angle as well. Attach the safety key. And lastly, plug in the power and turn on the switch. So this tablet holder can also be stored in a parallel position. To get it ready for use, you just lift it up and it is adjustable so you can get the right angle. I do like that there's this metal portion, so if you do have a tablet, it will be protected and not liable to flip over. So this is what the user manual looks like. On the first page, they have a diagram of the treadmill, and here they go over the dimensions of it, and here to unfold the column, there's just three steps. So one interesting feature about this treadmill is that they do have Bluetooth speakers. So here are some instructions for setting up the Bluetooth pairing. And here's a section about the maintenance. So if your belt does shift to the left or right during use, they do provide a hex. So the power cable port is located on the lower right-hand side right here. And of course we have the power switch. As with any treadmill, the safety key must be in place for it to operate. So when you turn it on, this is the initial screen that shows up. It automatically starts you at a speed of 0.6. So this is what the treadmill sounds like at a speed of 2.0. It is a little bit of a slow walking speed for myself, so I'm gonna increase it a bit more. So I do wanna mention that the belt feels quite smooth when walking on it. It feels well lubricated. The speed adjustments are quite seamless as well. So here we're at a speed of 4.0, which is a fast walk or a slow jog. So here I'm going to connect my phone via Bluetooth. We just select the device BTR5, Botoro R5. Collapsing this treadmill for storage is quite simple. It just takes a few minutes. The first step, of course, is to remove the safety strap. The second step is to unplug the power. The third step is to switch this piece right here to the unlocked position and repeat on the opposite side. From there, you can slowly lower the handlebars. Then once it is lowered, of course, you want to re-lock it into place so it won't move. Then, of course, repeat it on the opposite side. And the last step is to manually just push down this tablet holder. And there you have it. The treadmill is all prepared for storage. So now for some overall thoughts on this treadmill. Number one. This tread is sturdy, well-made, and the handlebars feel very stable. Number two, it has a smooth seven-layer belt and it feels well-cushioned while running on it. Number three, you can easily set up and collapse a treadmill within seconds and no tools are required. Number four, the Bluetooth speakers are a nice addition and allow you to hear your workout easily without the need for headphones. Number five, the 18 by 50 belt size is comfortable and larger than other compact treadmills on the market. Number six, the tablet holder is generously sized and I like that there's two water bottle holders. Not every treadmill has a water bottle holder. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like this video, subscribe if you're not already, and comment down below what are your thoughts on this treadmill.